Week 3 of Fortnite Season 8 is here and with it comes a bunch of map updates and story secrets for us to uncover. Sometimes they are huge, sometimes they are small, and sometimes they involve gnomes and epic prison breaks. More on that soon. So sit your butt down for hopefully 8 minutes and let's break down everything that has happened since we last met up 2 weeks ago. Oh and here take this, shameless code Adamaru begging, please and thank you. We have to start at Steamy Stacks. For years this building stood stoically until today. Steamy Stacks has now lost its power supply. Kevolution is over. I have a question right away. Is this our Kevin from chapter one? Is this the rolling cube of death we spent time with all the way back in 2018? Steamy Stacks is now a shell of its former self. The vat of Kevin juices has been destroyed and this cube isn't stopping for anyone. But soon it will face the golden cube waiting outside. I've sat here all week and watched this thing with other losers from my discord. The golden cube two weeks ago was outside Holly Hedges and in that time frame it has made its journey all the way around the map to here. First moving up to Sweaty Sands before awakening the purple cube there. This action though led to the purple cube at that crash site having babies. So to quote the movie up, Kevin's a girl? Thanks to FN Assist for this replay file by the way, you should go follow him on Twitter. After the awakening was over, the golden cube continued to the next Kevin up at Pleasant Park. What is extremely important to note now is the movement of Kevin and the kids. As they roll around, the ground beneath them becomes corrupted, making a path that will likely end at the center point of the island, the place the Storm King was summoned two years ago. And sure enough, the golden cube got to the next Kevin and it happened again. More babies! Right now the golden cube has reached steamy and it's only a matter of minutes until the process is repeated. But this time, it's our Kevin, the chapter one Kevin, the cooler Kevin. Let's check back in two weeks to find out what hellish demon the cubes will summon. The Storm King tried and failed, so who's next? Okay, let's move on to some dumb stuff. Small sub stories in Fortnite that may not impact the overall narrative, but they add a little bit of life to the island we all need. Last time we met, I told you to keep an eye on the gnomes outside Lazy Lake and the likelihood they were planning a prison break at the sheriff's office. Well, today that became a reality. Using the back wall, the genomes are now reunited and can escape back into the wild. The gnome army is officially back together. There's a few good details here. To prepare for the blast inside, the gnomes set up a table to protect themselves, but there's always one member of the group who's a bit strange. If you don't know who that is, that's you. And in this case, it's this guy, Buckethead Gnome, staying protected like no other. I don't think he's the leader around here, but he may be there for morale, the weirdo. Anyway, that's one of the groups of gnomes reunited, but another has now gone missing. Last update, loads of you told me I missed something. My apologies. Here at Holly Hedges were a bunch of gnomes who've decided to leave this place. They've packed their teeny tiny bags and they're waiting for a taxi to take them away. I chilled with them for a while before the update and it looks like they've gone forever. They've totally vanished this week. I've had a quick look around and I can't find them at all. So once again, I'm asking you for your help. Where the heck have the Holly Gnomes gone to now? They must have a new home somewhere, or maybe they're in a convoy on their way. If you find them, please at me on Twitter. I need to know their whereabouts. Okay, let's go back to the serious story-based stuff. After Sloane double-crossed us and stabbed us in the back during the Skyfire event, she didn't run away like Agent Jonesy did last season. She stayed here with an IO crew and began salvaging alien tech from the crash sites. Week 1 saw them outside the docks before moving westward to the metal bridge. Today they have made it all the way to the broken down IO base and are more deadly than ever as they defend the cargo they have recovered. This is most definitely important to the story as Sloane is such a huge part of it, but what could her new plan be? My guess is another weapon which will arrive just as the hellish demons take over the island for Halloween. We may not be best friends with Sloane, but we do share a desire to save the island. And her worst has led to some of the best. If she didn't double cross us, we wouldn't have rebooted Kevin, who, by the way, still sits there doing absolutely nothing. Go Kev. 
Another hugely important map update can be found near Sloan right now, up on the hill. The hashtag tiny chair is evolving once again. It looks like this. Over three seasons we've watched this lonely chair shrink smaller than humanly possible before returning with a bear companion and a telescope. That trio then grew and this week they are about a foot high, still gazing into the sky. Next update they should be life size again. And that's when we start begging Epic to make the bear huge, with a capital Y. Huge! Oversized bear on a chair, anyone? Come on, you know you want it. As Halloween reaches us, you may want to know about the spoopy areas of the map. The stores at each side of the island remain dormant right now, but each year they tend to come alive at this time. Elsewhere, Halloween has already arrived. The emo house by the high-fiving bros has been updated to include a coffin where the bed was and a ritual book where the teddy once sat. The person living here has made some strange life choices this season, but they are not alone. Down in one of the chalets by Misty, you can find another coffin just waiting to be activated when Devil Day arrives. Let me know if you spot any more of these. It's likely the inhabitants of the island will start adding decorations to their homes very soon to get in the mood for darkness. Here's a weird anomaly. We should talk about this just in case something happens. During the first week, many people noticed a very different chest at one of the IO bases. It was in fact a chest from Chapter 1. Of course, we all lost our minds and took this to mean that Chapter 1's map was returning. Hey, it could be I guess, but in week 3, that chest is no more. It's a Chapter 2 chest now. Here's something you may not have noticed during week 2. A piece of the road at the old swamp was replaced with a Chapter 1 road. Only a single corner was evident, and once again this week, the Chapter 1 asset was reverted to the Chapter 2 island instead. What could this mean? Could this be a genuine mistake from a dev, or could this be confirmation that they are working on a retro Chapter 1 version of the map? with old lighting and the old art style. Is it time to get hyped or is this just wishful thinking? Oh, by the way, the hole in the map is now fixed. Boo, but there's a new one down at Camp Cod. Yay. How long until Epic patch this? Maybe an hour? I'll give it an hour. A tiny map update I wanted to reference this week happens up where one of the new IO outposts landed. Look over the edge up here and you'll see the former Scarecrow and his buddies thrown over the edge. This was actually a returning easter egg from chapter 1, which my friends called the AA meeting, I don't think it's really called that, which saw a circle of friends including a Scarecrow and teddy bears sitting together having a chat. Well now, that has been toppled from the hillside and I guarantee this teddy will want revenge, you mark my words. Just as I was finishing this video, this spot here was noticed, a new ritual site on the hill over the farm. It has three flaming pots in a perfect triangle formation. I have no idea what this is for. Maybe a new NPC? I don't know. I just thought you should know, what is this for? Over the next fortnight of Fortnite, the Golden Cube will continue to awaken the remaining purple cubes who will all have equal tiny babies. But what is their end game? It has to have something to do with Halloween. Could it be a cube POI or are they summoning a demon to fight? Let me know how I did this week. Did I miss anything in this update? Please hit me up on Twitter if I miss something and I'll add it next time. Thanks for staying till the end. Here's a bunch of code Adamaru Legends who rocked my code last week. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. I'm Adam. You're awesome. I'll see you next time.